So, hi, I'm Tim. I am the CEO and founder of Bike Kitchens. Hi, I'm James. Um, I work at Bike Kitchens. You can, you can say, I, like, I, he doesn't like to say his title, which is technically president, but also, to be perfectly honest, all titles are made up. Titles are made up. So. <laughs> I'm Felina, head of r and Also, I don't know. What? No, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's recorded. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> Take two. Okay. Hi, I'm Felina, and I am head of R&D. So, uh, today we're going to be kind of just having a... So, today, f so for reference, today, uh, this is just kind of a uh, more casual talk, but it is AAPI month, so Asian American Pacific Islander um, Heritage Month, which means that... Um, there's a bunch of stuff that... See, this is a really nice thing about being able to edit because... Yeah. Like, you know, one take, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep exactly. going. Yeah. yeah. Where, do I, where do we look? So basically today, uh, we are the three AAPI um, members of Vike Kitchens. Um, I, I think it is particularly interesting because despite being an Asian-owned company, a lot of the um, members of the company are actually of um, Asian heritage. Uh, specifically, traditionally Asian jobs don't exist in the kind of food sector that we work in. They had, um, that's my bad. <laughs> positions that we generally are hiring for or otherwise need um, generally exist in the production line and marketing aspect of things. On one side, we have people who actually believe that the company is started and was created by um, white people. Specifically, we actually have a lot of people, mostly in Facebook comments, I will say, um, saying, I cannot believe that white people are culturally appropriating um, Asian culture and making uh, and making this uh, ramen, and and then we're just sitting here going like, hey "Have you seen his name? <laughs> Have you That's... seen his face on the website?" Yeah, uh, it's, it, it's very common, and I think that really does speak to a lot of the Asian American kind of things that we go through. Um, I just think, you know, we're the only three Asian Americans in the company. Mm -hmm. uh, the majority of people are predominantly not Asian um, in a ramen <laughs> company. Um, and it's always interesting to hear just people kind of assuming that, you know, either we're not Asian or we're, you know, dis not disgracing the culture, but just kind of appropriating it um, yeah. because we make ramen, yeah. right? And we're American, uh, an American company. What are some childhood memories that you guys have had where um, you haven't felt American enough and you haven't felt Asian enough? Well, I remember very early, like just in, I think about second grade, um, I went to this one elementary school like nearby and I remember being the only Asian girl in the whole class. I think it was my PE teacher. They were trying to select the order for students to go line up. So she explicitly was like, okay, all of the kids with black hair go line up. And I don't know, I got kind of defensive and I kept telling her like, no, no, I don't have black hair. It's actually like really dark brown because of the <laughs> sunlight, like it looks a little bit brown. And I was just like, no, like, what are you saying? And I, I ended up having to go last, but, <laughs> but you know, just being in a class where like everybody else had like, blonde hair, uh, light brown hair. I, I guess I just, it made me realize that. I, so for me specifically, um, I think it's really interesting because I'm actually Chinese American, so I was actually born in China, right? I was actually born in Shanghai. And one of the more interesting things is my voice and the way I talk apparently, and my mannerisms are very quote unquote white sounding and very white so that if no one actually sees me, and especially if this, is, this is something over the internet that I experience a lot. You remember Gab's? Yeah. Gab, Gab's yeah, reaction? No. So there, there's, a, there's actually a guy who we play Valorant with. He literally plays Valorant with us in the Vite community server while knowing who we are. Yep. But there was a disconnect in his mind between how we sounded and how we acted when we played. At some point we men uh, mentioned something about uh, you know us being Asian. And he's just like, you guys are Asian? What? 
it just blew his mind. And I'm just like, dude, I literally have my face on here. You know who I am. And he's like, but you sound so white. And he's Ecuadorian and actually lives in Ecuador. So he just had this, there's this, this cognitive dissonance between how I sounded and I guess who he thought I, I, I was. And then the next question we asked him is, Okay, so what ethnicity do you think James is? I don't think he got it either. No, he said like, white. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. like, white, right? Like, <laughs> He actually had us talk again after finding out, just to see if he can spot any differences. Yeah. Uh, after yeah. knowing the fact, and just, yep. it was the same. There was no difference. <laughs>